The duo twists change the game, creating peril for some and safety for others. But tonight, double trouble is done and no one is safe. Welcome to Big Brother. Previously on Big Brother. With Rachel in control of the house. Congratulations, Rachel. You are the new HOH. Dominic made a deal to keep himself safe. You're in this with us. Okay. Okay. And he and Danielle schemed a master plan. After nominations, Dominic thought he was the pawn. I made a deal with Brendan and Rachel before nominations. I'm up on the block now, but I am close with Danielle, and I had the deal done, so hopefully I'm just the pawn this week. So he agreed to throw the veto. So it's all good? 100%. Okay. I want to play with Danielle and you too. But when Danielle started pushing too hard to backdoor Jeff... What's the point of putting up Jeff and Jordan? To get rid of the biggest threat in the house? Who's already plotting an army against you? The power couples got suspicious. How is your relationship with Danielle? And at what point does she decide that she's going to go after us? At the veto competition, Dominic stuck to their understanding. I'm not even looking at the letters that I'm plucking. I'm plucking and throwing. Here, here's an S, here's an E, here's a T. While Brendan spelled it to win the POV. Congratulations, Brendan. You have won the power of veto. But when Dominic tried to build up Danielle's army, Shelly quickly threw him and Danielle under the bus. Last night, Dominic said, I already have Danny. I want to pair up with you and go after these guys. Making Danielle public enemy number one. If we vote her out next week. I don't think that would be a bad move for anybody. Oh, yeah. And at the veto meeting, Danielle felt betrayed. I have decided not to use the power of veto on Adam and Dominic. If Rachel thinks that she can screw me over like that, she has another thing coming. I am done. Who will be evicted from the Big Brother house? Dominic or Adam? And tonight, all hell breaks loose. You're an idiot, first of all. Like, don't, ever, don't ever call my fiance an idiot. I did not want this. It all happens right now, live on Big Brother. <laughs> Welcome to Big Brother. It's day 27 inside the Big Brother house, and tonight, everything changes. Soon, the house guests will vote to evict either Dominic or Adam, establishing the top 10. That means the golden key holders are back in the game, the duo twist is done, and everyone will be playing as individuals. But who stays and who goes has yet to be determined, because once again, the veterans are turning on one another. All week, Danielle has been urging Rachel and Brendan to backdoor Jeff and Jordan with the hopes of sending one of them home. But Danielle's plot to turn the couples against each other backfired, uniting the two power couples against her and her close friend and ally, Dominic. So, has Danielle sealed Dominic's fate? We'll soon find out. But first, Danielle has been busted. All loyalties are now in question and all deals are off. I have decided not to use the power of veto on Adam and Dominic. This veto meeting is adjourned. I am not surprised the veto was not used. The deal I have in place is uh, with Brendan, Rachel, me, and Danielle. I absolutely need Brendan and Rachel to honor their word and keep me safe. I'm not surprised the veto was not used. Sorry, Dom, but I feel really good that I am safe this week. I need to stay in this house. I need to win the money. 
Dominic and Adam remain on the block. I'm happy about that because I want Dominic out of this house. He's getting way too close to Danielle, and I don't trust Danielle as it is. I don't really know what kind of crazy pills Brendan and Rachel took overnight because Brendan and Rachel were on board to backdoor Jeff and Jordan. They're definitely going to have some regrets about this if that's how they want to play. Come in. Hey, cute cat. Come on, Danny. Literally, like I'm being honest, yeah. if Dominic goes home, I'm going to be pissed. Okay. I've done nothing but help you guys in every single way, you two specifically in this house. And if he goes, I'm not going to lie to you, I'll be furious. Why is it so imperative that he has to stay? You guys are here as a couple. You have each other. I have nobody. I'm here by myself. If Dominic's going to stab us in the back, what good does that do us? I get it. You're afraid that he's going to beat you in the end. I get it. But if I'm we, afraid if, he's going to turn on us when we least expect it. But you're 100 when convinced? Dominic, who's 100% already... convinced with Adam? No, I'm not 100% convinced with Adam. And then it's like, oh, well, screw Danny, blah, 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 because we don't trust him anymore. That is what's happening. Whether this, you want to see it as that picture or not, you're giving me the shaft. If you want to dissolve us as veterans, as a group of five, how am made I? It this how, far, how am I? Because you're basically so telling me, you're, tell, so you're basically me. threatening me now. You'd rather hold on to a stranger in this game and go to battle they with two other people than, they, than okay, stay together as okay, a group? Okay, Brendan, just seriously be quiet because I've never once said that. And you know I, I've never said I, that. I and I already gave. Please be quiet, seriously, because I'm getting pissed at you. I gave her my word on day two. Okay. Brendan walks around this house like he is king of the Big Brother house. Brendan may be able to talk down to Rachel and talk to her like she's stupid, but if he has the audacity to pull that crap with me, I'm not going to stand for it. You know that I have your backs in this yeah, game, yeah, yeah. I know. and I would appreciate the same and not just you two looking out for you two. Danielle, I'm not buying any of it because I know that you just want to wipe Jeff and Jordan and Rachel and I out of this game and try to make it to final two with Dominic. I would like some help in this game too. Yeah. I was nervous. I thought we were going up. I was really worried that like something was about to happen to you, especially in the last like 24 to 48 hours. Well, we just thought that people were trying to secretly... Get y'all out. Right. Yeah. I kind of felt like maybe you might have been like in on it. I didn't with know anything. It. Was it the true target this week? They were not back to Jeff. They probably went back to him. No. It's been like kind of being hinted. If I knew something, if I knew that like something was going to happen to you, I would tell you that something was going to happen to you. Since I got here, I've done everything that you, that the vets have asked me to do. Now I feel like I'm being questioned. I think we feel like somebody is trying to start problems between everybody and get everybody, get this whole house going crazy with lies and then everybody starts doubting other people. And so we're just, we're just being careful. There's a lot of talking going on now that the veto's there is. over. Now the veto's over and everyone knows what's up. I think everyone thought they knew what was up. I want to talk to Dominic. I want a little peace of mind on who tried to backdoor me. And really all I want is just for him to admit that he was wrong and say who the culprit is. You f***ed up. And you know what? You're probably going home. Tell me how I f***ed up. I don't understand why you want to get me out of here. I want to know how you think I'm targeting you at all. Come on, bro. You tell me. You want to get it out in the open? Can we go in the back room? Let's go in the purple room. I don't really care where you're getting this from. Dude, if you don't tell me in like the first minute what I need to hear, then there's no more, there's no reason to talk. Obviously you think it's my idea to backdoor you. It's obviously what you're trying to get at. Right. Why would I do that? Okay, obviously. It was not at all, those words never came out of my mind. Whose idea was it? I have no idea. I swear to God on my life, I have no idea so where it, that would come No one told me to backdoor you. So where did, where did it come from? Where would it come Why from? would that come from me? Dominic's telling me he does not know where this backdoor idea came from. So it magically appeared like Kazoo from the Flintstones in his ear. He's just lying right to my face and I can't have somebody like that in the house. So you tell me the truth. I have no problems with that. If so, you heard it and we and you thought we were cool, why wouldn't you come to me? Because that wasn't even a plan. Being suspicious, suspicious of nothing. Suspicious? Because you're not telling me what I want to hear, bro. So the, the only truth. way you're going to talk is if I tell you what you the want truth. to hear? Which the is truth. what? 
What you do you think me. the truth is? You tell you me. You obviously think this came from me. I never came up with that idea. I never tried to put that clown effect, and I never told anyone to do that. Come on, bro. Okay. You don't think Sounds I'm not? Like you, don't, you think I'm crazy? It's 100% Danny's fault that I'm in this position right now. Her idea, her plan, it all backfires, and I get blamed. I'm pissed. Listen, you're not. You're still not telling me what I need to hear. We'll talk clear when everything's on the table. What's your problem? Nothing. I was listening. It's being nosy. <laughs> she was like, I feel like you and Jeff, you are the people I'm dressed in this house and, and then you guys just are completely like not talking to me. And then I was like, I feel like somebody's trying to start tension between other people and create a bunch of problems. I say we just get everybody together. Do it. And start throwing people in the bus. And everybody in the house will go after that person. First, Dominic, who I thought we had a deal with, is planning to backdoor me. Now I find out Kalia is just acting really fishy. I don't know what the hell these newbies think they're doing, but we're gonna find out. So I didn't know there's a fireworks over there. <laughs> No, there's no fireworks. I just want someone to tell me what I want to hear. House meeting. Well, that means everybody's under the bus. Yeah, no. Then we go to war. <sighs> Jeff 100% believes that it was my idea and I was trying to get people to backdoor him. Now I got no shot in hell of staying here. So my main goal is to just do damage control and show Brendan, Rachel, Jeff, and Jordan how I can be a weapon that they can use. Come in. What up, man? Gentlemen. So you saw Big D. What's up, Big Jeff? I gotta talk to you guys. I wanna just clarify things and like get things straight, first yeah. of all. Hands down, it was never my idea to backdoor you. Did I ever come to you with the idea to backdoor him? Did I ever, did those words ever come out of my mouth? I think you might have known about it. That idea never came from me. I'll be perfectly honest. You were 100% safe. I'm like, I want to keep Dominic. He's a cool dude. He was funner to hang around with. We're all on the same page. We're going to knock out the weak players. And I was totally down with that. Done. And then the idea of backdooring me, right. Danielle stopped talking to me right when I heard that. She couldn't even look me in the face because of that is how you lost everything. I understand that. I completely understand that. But still, when I was talking, I'm like, tell me what I want to hear. You wouldn't even mention the words back door. Because I did mention the words back door. I told you that I heard that. But you we didn't all tell know. Me who, though. I'm like, tell but me Jeff, who. we it. know who it is. Well, then why don't you tell me the truth, man? Because the you guys aren't going to go against that person. Free. Are you going to go against that person? The truth shall set you free. You know, 100%, that back door did not come from me. But you're voting me out because I didn't come to you and tell you that the plan was was wrong and this is what's happening and throw someone under the bus that's with you? Yeah. That's why I'm gone. Yeah. I didn't come to tell you that that's not going to happen because I didn't think it was going to happen. Listen, if that person went and murdered somebody and you went with her because you didn't know what to do, you would be an accessory to murder, dude. You would that's go to not jail. That's what I'm saying. It's though. the same thing. You're an accessory to backdooring me. I really do think that you are a loyal person and somebody that we could I have trusted. But the problem is, is you're tainted now. It's I happening. can't control her. I have no power of her at you all. See the ship sinking. You need to get off the ship. To go where? I thought you guys were with her. I thought he already hated my guts and wanted me gone. Where am I going to go? When did you ever think I hated your guts? You're running around with Adam giving me dirty looks the whole week because you thought I was backdooring you. What am oh, I yeah, going to yeah, do? Yeah, that's true. I did do that. Is there nothing that can be done from here on out? Adam is going to roll with whoever's in power. Why are you not going to pick the one guy that knows what's going on and that is smart enough to defend himself over the guy that you know can be manipulated easily? We don't want you to go. I want you to work with us. I really like you a lot. Everyone knows that Brendan and I hate floaters. And let's be real, Adam is a total floater. Just think risk and reward. I can do whatever you guys want me to do. You have compelling arguments. Now, do I feel bad for Dominic having gotten eaten up by the Venus fly Donato? Absolutely. He was obviously charmed and wooed into doing this. So if I'm out the door 100%, I'm glad you guys told me. I mean, if I have no other option, I'm not going to sit here and beg with you guys. So, yeah. and and like, Dude, it's not over till they say your name. Just know that, dude. Coming up, Danielle's deception ignites the house. Plus, how will the game change when the duos are broken apart? And don't forget, 
Join the conversation on Twitter to see what other Big Brother fans are saying. Stay with us. Big Brother. For three weeks, the power couples have dominated and intimidated the house. But not everyone is running scared. I made a deal with the vets week one, but we haven't really been touching base or talking about anything in the last few days, so I'm gonna have to go and make sure everything's okay. Hey, Brennan, I'm very, like, clearly not in the loop anymore. I felt like the first two weeks, I was much more in the circle, mm -hmm. and it's very, very evident and apparent that I am no longer in that circle, and if you guys feel like you can't trust me, you need to ask me instead of assuming. Fair enough. At this point, I feel like I'm playing the game completely by myself. I've been honest with you from the get-go. I'm laying outside trying to get a little sun and enjoy the peace and quiet, and along comes Kalia, and starts babbling on, and all I can hear is lies, lies, lies. When somebody sits there and tells me that they're honest or straightforward, blah, 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 mm -hmm. that's the first person to lie to me. And you've done a great them. job of being in the middle and playing both sides. <laughs> that's what you think? Yeah. You know what? It doesn't I'm make a rocket scientist, but you know what? I've studied rocket science. And Brendan, this okay. is way easier than rocket science. Brendan, relax. If we don't, if we... Relax. And you guys always 100%. think it's on both sides. Oh, my God. You always think everything is on both sides. You and your partner are 100% floaters. That's all you've been this game. That's what and we you are. Sit here, I'm a floater. You are an all-time floater. 100%. You don't know me, Brendan, at all. And you also are a terrible listener. I'm trying to talk to you and you're making this okay. a huge conversation, which is what you do to everybody. Okay, then go ahead. What else do you have to say? And for you what to walk you to around, for you to, I'm not convincing you of anything. I don't have to convince you. You've told me you're honest. You've told me to believe you. You do not have to believe me. My life will go on if you don't. And I that's do. wonderful and fine. Then good. Brendan, keep playing the game you're playing. It clearly worked the first time. Sure. Hey, while you're at it, why don't you do your own dishes? Say one more thing smart to me. You think I'm sweet? You think I'm lovely and wonderful? Keep going. No, I never thought that. Keep going. Keep going, Brendan. Keep going. You don't know everything like you think you do. Just because you think you're going for your PhD, you're smart? Please. Suck it. And I should leave the door open so you can hear all of it since you think I go back and tell everybody everything. But we all know that you have your little spies just as much. You're all getting used. I hope everyone knows that. Apparently, I'm the biggest floater in the house. I go around and I tell everybody everything. I talk to everyone from day one. I have been playing both sides. These people. I think you have everybody in your back pocket, Brendan, and you do not. I'm just tired of Brendan's cocksure, cavalier, I run this house, I've been to this rodeo before attitude. You want a game? I'll give you a game. I'm definitely not going to stand for intimidation. I won't roll over for anybody. Get everybody in here and then everybody will know the truth. And Luan's out here, he has nothing to hide. I don't have nothing you know to hide. Nothing no, to mind. I have nothing to hide. Take a seat, Dom. I'm coming, can I sit next to you? Everybody sit down. Because we're going to dish everything out. I was under the impression that I was actually with you guys. If you thought we were, we were all friends and tight and everything was cool, okay? But as soon as you jumped on board for a plane to backdoor me, in my mind, call me crazy. That's kind of an end of a friendship. You were with us up until we found out that you were going behind our back. And when you were, I wasn't every time, going behind every your time back. that somebody would say you something said that every time I went back, scurry, I ran off and tell her. and run and tell your boss. That my boss? I'm a grown ass woman. I don't have a boss. Well then, th I'm telling you how we see it. I knew that nothing was going to happen, and I did not want this. We've been here for three weeks, and it's already hell. So I wasn't gonna come down here and be like, hey, a big is about to happen and hit the fan. And I'm in the center of the store because I have to play my own game too. Sure. I, I totally understand. So for you, for that, well then don't say you totally understand.
understand when two seconds ago when I'm trying to explain to you what the hell happened, I'm suddenly public enemy number two and I'm the liar. And I'm well, playing both sides. Someone, no, I'm playing the, by myself. There's been lots of people who've lied in here. You're not alone. I know I'm not. But let's make sure that everyone knows that every single person in this room at some point has been doing as well. Well, clearly, it's because me and you are the easy ones to take blame for it. You guys were going to go in a group and come after us or try and try to get him out. Listen, Clea, if you were in on the plan that I was gonna get backdoored with risk, you have to, you know, you have to, you have to expect that something's gonna happen. So the plan got up, blew up, okay? And now you two are taking a fall because of someone else and you didn't even do anything. I'm saying don't yell at us, don't yell this way. You might wanna turn around and start yelling. She's my friend. And your friend will sell you out under the bus the quicker than she can blink an eye. Your friend will stab you in the back and send you out that door and not even vote for you, a pity vote, or shed a tear. So I don't know if that's a friend, but that's not the kind of friend I want to have. Your friend doesn't care about turning an alliance she made day one against each other. Bridget, or your friend you doesn't care. Bridget, you can't say that though. You're you an idiot, first of all. Oh, I'm an idiot. Hey, yeah, yeah. No. Don't, ever, don't ever call my fiance an idiot. First of all, you got busted. Your idiotic plan got outed. But when it comes, you're letting people take the fall for you. And you only have the balls to say that you got caught. Okay. We gave you an opportunity up there, and you didn't take it. Oh, thanks, master. Thanks. All you had to do was that's sit back. That's really funny. All you had to do was sit really back while we did fight. You were 100% on board and wanted it, and you know that. Okay, it was my idea because in this house, when I was teamed up with you two, and you know that, trying to push everybody on your side, and you when, know when that. When did that happen? Shut up. When did that up happen? For two when seconds. you told us that Jeff was coming after two us. Two seconds. You, you, Stop always, talking. you can't take blame for yourself. What? Why? Why me? Why did you get this plan? Get me out of here. On my life, it, it's nothing personal at all. I saw you as my biggest threat in the house. Period. Well, it seems a little personal this early in the game. So everybody else has a different opinion about it. You're right. It. I'm not saying oh, anything. But we were it. on a team that we were up there while well, everyone's crying, and I'm like, listen, I got your back. And then two weeks later, you stabbed me in my back. I don't know why anybody in this room would align with you after this because obviously it's you don't care about anyone's feelings. Then you take the closest guy in this house and put him in danger. He wasn't in danger because they promised him he was safe. Danielle, you're ridiculous. If I do not get Danielle out of here, I'm going home. Back to work, watching these idiots in here the rest of the summer on TV. This is more crucial than ever. I'm just sick of these people who walk around here like they own the place. With the HOH competition coming up, I will win, and I will get one of them out of the house this week. I'm playing this game to win, and tomorrow, y'all better watch out. Coming up, it's the live vote and eviction. Adam or Dominic? How will the recent drama affect tonight's vote? Stay with us. Brother, let's go to the living room and talk with the house guests. Hi, everybody. Hey, Kalia, I'm going to start with you tonight. There was some drama in the house this week. There was? <laughs> During the house meeting, you and Brendan and Jeff had some pretty harsh words for each other. Mm -hmm. Where do things stand right now between the three of you? Um, I think everyone in here is a grown up, and we all kind of know that it's a game, and there are personal things that happen, but Hopefully you say, you know what, hopefully we'll get over it. And if not, then that's okay too. You don't have to like everybody in the world. Brendan, what do you have to say about this? I like everyone in the world. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, like Kalia said, you know, this is a game. Things get intense. We often do say things that we don't mean at the time. Sometimes our tempers get raised. But uh, it's the ability to kind of apologize and say, look, maybe I'm going to vote you out. Maybe I'm going to evict you. But at the end of the day, we're still playing this game. So there's no hard feelings? Is that what you're telling me in the house right now? Yeah, no hard feelings. All right, Jeff, let me turn to you. <laughs> Any hard feelings on your part? Well, there's definitely been some lines drawn in the sand this week, you know, and uh, it's Big Brother. It is a game, but uh, I play different than, you know, the game is supposed to be played. People think there's backstabbing and lying and cheating. Well, it doesn't have to be played that way, and I don't play it that way. So uh, people play it a different way. I know what side they're on, and, uh, you know, it makes it more interesting. So enjoy from that side. Jeff, let me ask you this. What was the benefit 
of making this a big house event, this big house meeting? I don't know, Jordan, what was it? <laughs> um, I think just to clear the air, everybody knew what was going on in here, and uh, it's better that everyone just gets their, you know, their feelings out in the open. There's no one you know, running and hiding in rooms, even though it still is. So, I mean, I knew where everybody stood, but um, it's out in the open now, you know what I mean? So now it's, uh, it's go time. This is going to be a fun HOH, and I'm ready to dance. Oh, it's go time, that's for sure. <laughs> yeah. I'm not sure if Danielle would uh, agree with everything you just said. Danielle, you know, there are a lot of harsh words thrown your direction. Are you surprised it's gotten this confrontational this early in the game? <laughs> Absolutely not. Um, I've been through much worse in this house. I just, as everybody said, it is a game. I didn't come here to be part of a dictatorship. I came here to play a game, and everybody's going to play a different way. If you make a big move, if it backfires, it is what it is, and you got to go from there. So that's all. It's nothing personal. It's just a game. Wow, you guys are serious gamers. It's now time for the live vote and eviction. Adam, Dominic. In just a few moments, your housemates will cast their votes to evict live. But before they do, you each have one last chance to plead your case. Adam, you're up first. Thanks, Julie. Uh, first of all, I'd like to thank my family and friends out there for supporting me through all this. Uh, I walked into this house, a stranger in a strange land, didn't know anybody, got to know you all, and, uh, you know, genuinely like everybody here. I know it's just a game, so you got to do what's best for you. So when you go into the room to make your vote, have peace of mind and do what you got to do. Thank you very much. And also, Dominic, sorry it's got to end this way, buddy, okay. but one of us has to go. Thanks, Adam. Dominic, your turn. Uh, okay. Um, first of all, I'd like to say thank you to all you guys for giving me the chance to get to know you. I genuinely like all of you. Um, and outside of here, we're definitely going to kick it. You're all good people. Um, that being said, I think some of you guys are spineless jellyfish that um, really are riding on people's backs and you don't have a chance of winning if you're going to play like that. I think you guys need to man up, get some guts, and fight, and fight for you and not for anyone else. And I think others, um, congratulations because thus far you've come a long way um, with some gigantic speed bumps and really playing against no one. So kudos to you guys. You've done a great job. Um, and lastly, I think me personally, um, pause, pause, pause. I think like all of you guys collectively, I think we all suck at this game. And I think if I had a player or someone that had a spine to play with me, aside from the last week, um, I think there would be a game being played and not what it is right now. So thank you. Thank you, Dominic. Thank you both. It is time for the live voting to begin. Neither of the nominees is allowed to vote. Rachel, as current head of household, you will only vote in the event of a tie. One at a time, the rest of you will enter the diary room and cast your vote to evict. Jeff, you're first. Please go to the diary room. Jeff has made it clear he sees Dominic as a threat. He'll likely take this opportunity to send his enemy packing. Hi, Jeff. Hey, Julie. Please cast your vote to evict. Terrible speech. I vote to evict Dominic. Thank you. Thanks. A member of the Veterans Alliance and Jeff's girlfriend, Jordan's vote should follow his. Hi, Jordan. Hey. Please cast your vote to evict. I vote to evict Dominic. Thank you. Kalia has been flying under the radar until her recent confrontation with the veterans. How will this drama affect her vote? Hi, Kalia. Hi, Julie. Please cast your vote to evict. I vote to evict Dominic. Thank you. Next. Danielle chose Dominic over the Veterans Alliance. Is it in her best interest to keep him tonight? Hi, Danielle. Hey, Julie. Please cast your vote to evict. Because I'm not afraid to go against the king and the queen, I vote to evict Adam. Thank you, Danielle. The vote is one to evict Adam and three to evict Dominic. The rest of the house guests cast their votes live when we return. Stay with us. Welcome back to Big Brother. The house guests are voting live to evict either Adam or Dominic. So far, it's three votes to one in favor of evicting Dominic. Let's continue with a live vote. Brendan feels betrayed by Dominic. It would be a surprise if he chose to keep him. 
Hi, Brendan. Hey, Julie. Please cast your vote to evict. I vote to evict Dominic. Thank you. Thank you. Shelly has remained loyal to the Veterans Alliance. Will she vote with them tonight? Hi, Shelly. Hi, Julie. Please cast your vote to evict. I vote to evict Dominic. Thank you. It's official with five votes to evict Dominic. Dominic will leave the house tonight, but let's see how the other votes fall. Hi, Luan. Hi. Please cast your vote to evict. I vote to evict Dominic. Thank you. Since getting the golden key, Portia has been laying low. Who does she see as the bigger threat? Hi, Portia. Hey, Julie. Please cast your vote to evict. This jellyfish votes to evict Dominic. Thank you, Portia. Thank you. All of the votes are in. Let's give the news to the House guests. House guests, the votes are in. When I reveal the vote, the evicted House guests will have just a few moments to say goodbye gather his belongings, and walk out the front door. By a vote of seven to one, Dominic, you are evicted from the Big Brother house. <laughs> oh, <my God. laughs> uh, look out there, buddy. Thanks, guys. Uh, I'll, I'll see you on the side. Make it good out there. Good luck. Hugs. I was going to get a kiss. Oh, cool. Oh, my God. <laughs> Dominic. Huh? Oh, come on. Uh, well, it did say something Ooh, cute. Thanks. I said, this jellyfish votes to it. <laughs> <laughs> all right, brother, make that interview good, all right? Jeez. Dominic, you're all good. Right, Yeah, they didn't say anything about the keys. You guys don't even know if you're Thank key. you, baby. Technically. Technically, no, but... You say no bathroom breaks? Was anyone told? Kind of did. What? Nobody was Thank told, you. were they? Did you go up there? No, I was told. Is Adam in there? Yeah. Yeah. You in there? Oh. I know, but I mean, was anyone told, like, this week? Nothing particular. But I have a belt. I'm going... Let's talk about that speech just now. Let's talk about it. What were you trying to accomplish? And name names as to who has no spine. Um, it's definitely all the non-veterans in the house. So I felt like the five veterans from day one had everyone wrapped around their finger. No one had the bravery to go against them or the courage to go against them. And Luan, Kalia, Shelly, Adam, um, all the newbies that went in the house never wanted to fight with me, never kind of gave us a chance. And they were always running to a strong alliance. So I felt like we never really had a fighting chance against them. What were you hoping to accomplish in, in calling those people out just now? I wanted to light a fire. I wanted to get um, Danielle some help, actually, because obviously the veterans are against her completely. And um, people are still t like teetering and trying to figure out where they're going to go, and I want them to really light a fire and fight. Well, let's talk about Danielle for a moment, mm -hmm. because were your feelings, what were your feelings for her, and were they real? Because you kind of threw her under the bus. You didn't quite come to her defense when everyone was singling her out? Um, my feelings for Danielle is she was really the only one that wanted to fight with me and the only one that was strong enough to go against the veterans. And um, I always had her back and she always had my back. It was 100% trust, but in the end of the day, it was her idea and I didn't want to take the rap for what everyone knew I was an accomplice, so. Was there a real bond or were you just playing her to get a better game going for yourself? No, there was definitely a real bond. I actually enjoyed her um, friendship and hanging out with her, when we, even when we're not talking game. So it was, it was more than just game. All right, let's talk about the game. Mm -hmm. You're up on the block. Mm -hmm. You throw the veto competition. Why did you ever decide to trust anyone in the Big Brother house? Because it all comes down to giving me an advantage. And if no one would go against the veterans, you got to go with them. And they really liked me and they really wanted me and they were trying to pull me in. So by throwing that, it gave them a sense of trust. They could trust me and um, we'd go together and run with it. At one point, 
you were in good with Brendan, Rachel, and Danielle. Yeah. And you start playing all sides of the house. Mm -hmm. Do you think you overplayed this game? Um, I didn't overplay the game at that point. I definitely overplayed in the beginning. Um, I think at that point I was just trying to, you know, a little insurance, get my back. And I don't think that bit me as much as the whole backdoor plan didn't going through. That really hurt more. Of, Heart. <laughs> <laughs> of all the house guests, mm -hmm. you really targeted Jeff. Mm -hmm. Why? Because Jordan wouldn't come after me. Um, if Jeff was gone, Jordan uh, is a sweetheart, and I didn't feel like she was going to come after me. If you get Brenda or Rachel out, the other one's going to go psycho and come after you and come after your dog and your cat <laughs> and everyone else. Like, you know what I mean? Like, they're, they're just they're stronger and, you know. In the event you were the one evicted tonight, your housemates taped some goodbye messages. Let's well, listen, shall we? Let's listen. Dominic, I feel a little bit bad for you. You're taking the fall a little bit for partnering up with Danielle. Unfortunately, you were the handsome guy that got left holding the bag. You'll learn soon. Ladies, you can't live with them, you can't live without them. <laughs> this time coming in the house, I told myself that I'm going to play like a robot with absolutely no emotions and no words can truly really express how bad I feel that you're going home because of me. I'm really, really, really sad to see you go. Dominic, we are boys for life, my brother. We are boys for life. You can't get rid of me. It's like a pimple. You can try to pop me, but you can't. I'm going to keep resurfacing on that pretty boy face. I'm not going nowhere. Dominic, if you're seeing this, it's because you were involved in that little scandal and trying to backdoor me. And you know my number one goal coming in here was to spend the summer with Jordan. As Rachel would say, nobody comes in between me and my man. Oh my. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> Final thoughts, Dom? Um, I had a great time. I mean, the glass is always half full for me, so I wouldn't take anything back, and you just went with it, and what happened happens. And if it would have gone through, I would be sitting somewhere totally different, but I, I'm not, and I'm here, and you know, it's all good. Well, sit right there, because this game is about to change, and I'm going to deliver some news to the house guests. Let's hear it. House guests, I need everyone to gather back in the living room, please. Uh oh something's, something's up. Aha! Uh -huh. Hurry up, please. Take a seat. Get comfortable. Get comfortable. Get comfortable. All right. Is everyone there? Yes. Okay. First of all, congratulations on making it to the top ten. From this minute on, everything changes. Yes. Golden key holders, you're back in the game. And everyone is on their own. The duo twist is over. And each of you will now play as an, in it, as an individual. But keep in mind, house guests, the summer and the twists are far from over. Good luck, everyone. Thank, Thank, you. You. Thank, you. Thank you. Now that the duos are done, who will step up and become the most important HOH of the summer? Plus, want to see what other fans are saying about tonight's big shakeup? Join the conversation on Twitter. Stay with us. Welcome back to Big Brother. It's time for the live head of household competition. Free from the threat of eviction, the HOH must put two house guests on the chopping block. Who will be the new head of household? Let's find out. House guests, the power is up for grabs. Rachel, as outgoing head of household, you are not eligible to compete. This competition is called Big Brother Slalom and you're in for the ride of your life. Hold on to your ski poles and stay up on your skis for as long as you possibly can. The last house guest remaining on their skis will be the new head of, of household. Does everyone understand? Yes, Julie. Yes, yes. Excellent. In addition, you'll see the five snowballs on the stump. The first five house guests eliminated must pick one snowball and open it. Inside, there could be something good or something bad, but you should know one snowball contains $10,000. Is everyone ready? Yep. Mm -hmm. Excellent. Because this competition begins 
now. <laughs> oh, it's an apple. Oh, I was just gonna say that. <laughs> yes. <laughs> there goes the muffin top. I know, right? <laughs> Seriously. Especially with the girdle. Right. My butt is being sandpapered down. Oh, genius. Oh, yeah, that's true. <laughs> Happy birthday, Caitlin, for watching. How long do you want to call it? Happy birthday, Rob! Happy birthday, Rob! <laughs> Happy birthday, Ellie! <laughs> How's everybody doing so far? Awesome. Awesome. awesome! Well, it looks like that mountain is getting a little steep. You're <laughs> so creative. Very, right? Right? <laughs> the game has changed, and for the first time this summer, everyone is on their own. Who will be the new HOH? Stay with us. You got this, guys. Welcome back to Big Brother. The head of household competition is underway, and we'll return to the backyard in just a moment. Who will win this all-important HOH, and whom will they nominate for eviction? Find out Sunday at 8, 7 central. Then Wednesday at 8, will the power veto save one of the nominees? And I'll be back one week from tonight at 9 for the next live eviction. Plus, find out how you can play a role in the next game-changing twist. To follow the house guests every move, log on to cbs.com and subscribe to the live 24-hour internet feed. Don't forget, you can also get an uncensored look at Life in the House on Big Brother After Dark, airing live each night on Showtime 2. Now, let's rejoin the house guests and see how they're holding up. Hey everybody, how's everyone doing? Good. Yes, well, you're all looking good, house guests. Unfortunately, the same cannot be said for the weather. It looks like it could turn ugly any moment, house guests. Good night, everybody. Simon Baker is The Mentalist, next on CBS.